How's it going everyone? My name is AJ and today I'm going to answer a fitness question. Everyone has their own personal goals and motivation for lifting heavy things at the gym. Some are looking to get bigger, some are looking to get stronger, and some are looking for a delicate mixture of both. There are countless combinations of reps and sets that you can implement for just about any workout program. And it can be somewhat overwhelming and confusing as to which combination is the most effective at producing gains. If you are strictly focused on putting on some extra meat, how many reps and sets should you be doing per exercise? I am going to answer this question from a scientific perspective. Before I go any further, please support my channel by leaving a like, subscribing, and hitting the notification bell to make sure you stay up to date on new videos. Let's start off by talking about repetition. To keep things as simple as possible, I have broken down rep ranges into four groups that are for the most part unanimously accepted in the lifting world. One to three reps represents maximal raw strength. This range is commonly found within power lifters, strong men, and anyone else whose main goal is to lift as much weight as possible. Muscle size and endurance is less of a concern here. Four to seven reps highlights a predominant strength focus with a small endurance component. Individuals in this range spend approximately 40 seconds of time under tension with each set. 8 to 12 reps represents fairly balanced strength and endurance components. Those who not only need or want to be strong, but also resist fatigue. This is arguably the most popular range with a large chunk of athletes who fall into this group. Novice to intermediate gym goers often gravitate to this range, since the weight lifted tends to be a little more manageable and less intimidating. 12 to 20 reps is deemed a high endurance zone, meaning that although there is still a strength component, endurance is emphasized. Long distance runners, cyclists, and other endurance athletes who spend a lot of time at steady state tend to benefit from this range. Now, if you take anything away from this video, it is this. Each rep range is effective at building muscle hypertrophy or size, and we have known this for quite a while. A 2015 study published in the Journal of Strength and Conditioning Research looked at low and high rep sets in well-trained men and found no significant difference in the muscle gains made by either side. A comparable study looking specifically at muscle volume training showed similar results, with both bodybuilding and powerlifting type training styles promoting similar increase in muscle size. If your goal is to increase muscle gains, it is essential to periodically modify both the amount of reps and the tempo at which you perform those reps. Regardless of the rep range you pick, your body is very good at adapting to unfamiliar external stimuli. So there's no real edge in sticking to one particular rep scheme. But what about sets? In the scientific gospel, more sets means more workout volume which translates to greater muscle gains. A meta-analysis published in the Journal of Strength and Conditioning Research found that multiple working sets are associated with a 40% increase in hypertrophy-related effect size in both trained and untrained subjects. Another study published six years later showed a similar trend, with five-set training resulting in significantly greater muscle thickness than three- and one-set training when reps were controlled for. At the end of the day, the more more sets you can perform, the better. But a lot of us don't have hours available every day to spend in the gym. Not to mention that your brain can't sustainably handle the hours of iron pumping needed to truly maximize output. So what is the most effective and time efficient way to maximize muscle growth? Periodization is the answer, at least in my opinion. Each week you should modify both rep, set, and tempo counts for each exercise. Regularly doing three sets sets of 10 reps for every exercise isn't going to cut it. Your body over time will adapt and eventually get to a point where the gains you make will be minimal at best. I'm not saying you should immediately dive into one or three rep maxes, but a change from three sets of 10 reps to four sets of five or six reps is a really good start. Keep your muscles guessing and push them to adapt to the increase in workout volume, even if it means stepping out of your comfort zone. 
But hey, that's just my take. Do you have the secret recipe for maximum gains? Let me know in the comments below or on Facebook or Instagram. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it, share it with your friends, subscribe, and turn notifications on. Thank you so much for watching and stay strong.